now let us think about uh, the inverse of a tangent function other means we have to define tangents consider the tangent function f defined by f of x is equal to minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 minus pi by 2 pi by 2 to r given by f of x is equal to tan x now let us uh, discuss the tan graph of tan so this is the graph of tan tangent function y is equal to tan x this is a graph of tangent function you can see that here it is zero pi by 2 pi 3 pi by 2 etc and same way here also from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 the tangent function takes values from minus infinity to, to plus infinity at the pi by 2 it is not touching at pi by 2 the tangent function is not defined now pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2 again in this branch it is from minus infinity to plus infinity 3 pi by 2 to 5 pi by 2 again it is in the minus infinity to plus infinity etc it is going this way it is possible but we have to restrict this domain to minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 or pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2 or 3 pi by 2 to 5 pi by 2 etc now in pi by 2 what happened the pi by 2 the line x is equal to the pi by 2 the line x is equal to pi by 2 the function is not defined so the line x is equal to pi by 2 is touching the graph of uh, y is equal to tan x at the point at infinity so this line is known as asymptote we are not studying that in our uh, syllabus but the line which touches a curve is called asymptote to that curve so this is asymptote okay division now so i am uh, i have restricted uh, the tangent of function in this way minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 hence it is invertible here it is the function is invertible there children actually here here this a uh, f from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 Minus pi by two plus pi by two to r. Actually, the function tangent function is defined from r to r. F is defined from r to r. That is, by f of x is equal to tan x. It is defined. But I have restricted this to minus pi by two to pi by two. That explanation is given by the help of the graph. Just for clarification. Now, thus, how to define tan inverse? Thus, tan inverse is from r to minus pi by two to pi by two defined by y is equal to tan inverse x implies and implied by tan y is equal to x or y element of open interval minus pi by two plus pi by two. Please note that the interval the is minus pi open interval minus pi by two plus pi by two. So, range of a tan inverse is open interval. And here also there are some important points. So domain of tan inverse is set of order real numbers, and range is a minus pi by two to plus pi by two. Open interval minus pi by two plus pi by two. Same way, tan of tan inverse of x is equal to x where x element of R the set of real numbers. Tan inverse of tan y is equal to y where y element of minus pi by two to plus pi by two. So this is the case of tan inverse now what will be the graph of tan inverse the graph of arc tangent or tan inverse the graph of arc tangent or tan inverse in the x axis and the y axis in the case of tan will interchange to in the case of tan inverse so this is the graph of tan inverse see the graph will be this way whereas tan inverse graph Tan, sorry, tan graph. Tan graph was in this way. In this way, this tan graph. Now, this is a tan inverse graph. Now, 
let us discuss about the inverse of cotangent otherwise cot inverse of cotangent or cot consider the cotangent function f defined by f from 0 to pi to r given by f of x 0 to cot x actually i have restricted the domain to 0 to pi i will explain it here really the cot function is defined as f the cot function is defined f of x is equal to cot x if f of x is equal to cot x cot x f is defined from r to r f is defined from r to r I have restricted it to 0 to pi I will explain that with the help of graph consider the graph of cotangent, cotangent function this is the graph of cotangent function this is the graph of cotangent function now you can see that uh, there, are, there are some green like dotted lines see from 0 to pi in between 0 to pi the cotangent takes values cot take values uh, from minus infinity to plus infinity now pi to 2 pi also it takes minus infinity to plus infinity 2 pi to 3 pi also it takes minus infinity to plus infinity and here in this minus pi to 0 also it takes from 0 to minus infinity to plus infinity so we are restricting the domain to 0 to pi when we restrict the domain to 0 to pi the graph of cot, cot, cot function will be this one this is the graph of cot function now it is invertible it is both one it is one one and one two it is invertible now we can define the inverse of a cot function here the cot inverse from r to 0 to pi the range and domain interchange defined by y is equal to cot inverse of x implies and implied by cot y is equal to x where y element of 0 to pi the important points domain of cot inverse is a r and the range is open interval 0 to pi now cot of cot inverse of x just like f of f inverse of x is x so the cot of cot inverse of x is equal to x where x is an element of r cot inverse of cot y is equal to y where y element of 0 to pi now what will be the graph of cot inverse arc cot graph of cot inverse you can see here here the graph will be then the different position that is x axis and y axis will be interchanged this is the graph of cot inverse arc cot graph of cot inverse this one you want to zoom it you can see here so this is the graph of cot inverse now that's all now we may go to Inverse of secant function, secant, inverse of secant function. Consider the secant function f defined by f from 0 to pi to minus pi by 2, 0 to pi minus pi by 2. From the closed interval 0 to pi, pi by 2 is removed. To r minus the open interval minus 1 plus 1, given by f of x equal to secant. Of course, we are remembering uh, graph of sine function, cosine function, tangent function, secant function, you may not remember. So, with the help of graph, I shall explain this once again. This is the graph of secant function. See, this is the graph of secant function. It is just like a U shape graph, U. Here. Here minus pi by 2, pi by 2, pi by 2, pi, 3 pi by 2, etc. You can zoom it.
see from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 pi by 2 is so all this uh, uh, range the cosine function sorry secant function is not taking the values at pi by 2 here pi by 2 is not taking the values and 3 pi by 2 also is not taking the values okay so we have to restrict the domain we are going to restrict the domain in such a way that 0 to pi and take 0 to pi which point to be excluded the pi by 2 is ex excluded so i am taking the restricting the domain to closed interval 0 pi minus the singleton set at pi by 2 that is the function defined in, in the slide 0 to pi minus singleton set at pi by 2 now in that case the value takes uh, the second value taken from minus infinity to it's take up to minus 1 and 1 to infinity second function is not taking any value between minus 1 and plus 1 so what will be the range the range will be entire real line entire real line from the entire real line the open interval minus 1 plus 1 to be excluded that is x should be greater than or equal to greater than or equal to 1 not x y y is greater than or equal to 1 in the case of secant function and otherwise the y should be less than or equal to minus 1 so the value should be greater than or equal to 1 or less than or equal to minus 1 so the open rule minus 1 and plus 1 is excluded is it clear let us go back to the definition of C. That is why the function f is defined as a closed interval 0 pi minus the single transient pi by 2 to R set of all the real numbers from the, the open interval minus 1, 1 is subtracted. So the domain is a zero, closed interval 0 pi minus pi by 2 and the range is R minus open rule minus 1 1 is defined by f of x is equal to secant it is now invertible and we can uh, define the inverse of c the sec inverse is defined in a such a way that sec inverse is from minus infinity minus 1 union 1 to infinity to close interval 0 pi minus pi by 2 they shall run this is the another way of representing r minus open interval minus 1 1 we are when we are discussing the graph we are written that r minus r minus open interval minus 1 it can be the same the same set r minus minus 1 1 can be written as minus infinity to minus 1 union 1 to infinity another way of representing the same set is modulus of x greater than or equal to 1 so the set r minus minus 1 1 open interval minus 1 1 can be written in this way minus infinity to minus 1 union 1 to infinity or modulus of x greater than equal to 1 in any way we can write this is for you for your information please so second verse is from minus infinity to minus 1 union 1 to infinity to close interval 0 pi minus pi by 2 so it becomes pi by 2 is defined by y is equal to sec inverse of x implies and implied by sec y is equal to x now y element of the range here so 0 to pi minus single descent pi by 2 so we here also the same points to be remembered what is the domain of sec inverse domain of sec inverse is r minus open interval minus 1 1 otherwise we can write as mod x greater than or equal to 1 and range is a 
क्लोज इंटरवल सीरो पाई माइनस ऑपर सिंगल टर्म से पाई फाइव सेक ऑफ सेक इनवर्स ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू एक्स वर एक्स एलिमेंट ऑफ आर माइनस ऑपर रूल माइनस वन वन दैट इज द सेम सेंस एंड सेक इनवर्स ऑफ सेक वाई इज इक्वल टू वाई वर वाई एलिमेंट ऑफ क्लोज इंटरवल सीरो पाई माइनस सिंगल टर्म से पाई This are all for sec inverse. Now, what will be the graph of sec inverse? The graph of sec inverse is sir, this graph. It was partial part of U theta, and here you can see that this is the graph of sec inverse. So, graph of sec inverse is this from so zero to pi minus pi by two. Pi by two is now exploded. When pi is equal to pi by two, the graph line will not touch the graph. Of sec inverse, so it is asymptotic, and it is taking the value from minus infinity to minus one, union one to infinity. That is the graph of sec inverse. Now, let us uh, move to inverse of cosecant function. Cosec function. Consider the cosecant function f defined by f from minus pi by two. Plus interval minus pi by two, pi by two minus single term set zero. This also we have the restricted domain. How we are restricting that I will show you in the graph. R minus open rule minus one one given by f of x equal to cosecant x or cosecant. Now how we are restricting? You can see the cosecant function graph. The graph of cosec function is this is the graph of cosec function. So you can see that from minus pi by two to pi by two, excluding zero, when we exclude zero, the cosec graph, cosec function take values from minus infinity to minus one and ten, one to infinity. So in this interval, minus pi by two to plus pi by two, minus zero, the function is one one around two. Otherwise, we can take pi by two to three pi by two, excluding pi. Otherwise, three pi by two to five pi by two, excluding two pi. But we are taking the uh, interval, the branch minus pi by two to plus pi by two, excluding zero. That is a restricted domain. When we are restricted domain, the restricted graph will be this. Way. So this is the graph of cosec function in the restricted domain. So minus infinity to minus one taking values and the one to infinity. In between minus pi by two and plus pi by two, when we exclude zero, that is defined in the case of cosec function. So cosec function is defined this way. Now we can. Find uh, define the inverse. The inverse of cosec function is uh, cosec inverse of minus infinity. Cosec inverse from minus infinity to minus one union one to infinity to minus pi by two pi by two minus single term set zero defined by y is equal to cosec inverse of x uh, such that implies and implied by cosec y is equal to x. Where y is an element of minus pi by two to plus pi by two minus single term set zero. So this is the definition of cosec inverse. Now what is the do domain of cosec inverse? Domain of cosec inverse is r minus minus one one from the set of real numbers. Open and root minus one one is exploded. That is, if the domain is a the set of x such that x is less than or equal to minus one or x greater than or equal to one. We can write that domain in another way. Modulus of x greater than or equal to one. So the same domain can also be written. The same domain can also be written. This r minus set uh, close open and close minus one can also be written as the same interval can also be written as modulus of x greater than or equal to. So domain is R minus open and close minus one one. Otherwise, modulus of x greater than or equal to one. And range is a minus pi by two pi by two minus 
single turn sets zero. Now, cosec of cosec inverse x as f of f inverse of x is x only, but x element of r minus in the domain r minus open door minus one bar. Cosec inverse of cosec y, f inverse of f of y is y. So cosec inverse of cosec y is y, where y element of minus pi by two, pi by two minus single term sets zero. So we have defined cosec inverse also. What will be the graph of cosec inverse? Graph of cosec inverse is you can see that the graph of cosec inverse. We have seen the graph of cos partial graph, and this is graph of cosec inverse. This is the graph of cosec inverse. Minus pi by two to pi by two, and zero is excluded here. So, dear children, in this session, we have elaborately discussed the sine inverse, cos inverse, tan inverse, cot inverse, sec inverse, and cosec inverse. Defined these from inverse trigonometry functions, and we have discussed the graph also. Dear children, I am repeating that whenever you are studying uh, trigonometric identities or inverse trigonometric identities. Or results uh, try to connect it with uh, its graphical representation. Also. We will continue the properties of inverse trigonometric functions and uh, other problems uh, in the next section. Thank you.